How is it going? I really hope you're doing as good as I'm doing today, because holy shit. Uh, I, this is like one of the most fun workouts I've had in a while. Uh, again, if you've been here, I, this is the first day trying out the new program where instead of working with percentages, as I have always done, I am, through my own experiences and my confidence in my lifting, that is more based off of experience instead of ego, I am giving myself the power to go to a weight that I feel uh, is like what I would call a comfy failure, you know? So just before we get into all that shit, um, physically, oh, 9.45 at the very least, like felt unreal today. And like I just did, like I rested yesterday just in case, because if you're going to start a new program, no matter how, like, how much working out you've been doing lately, always take the day before you start off because you need that energy to come in strong and kill it as hard as you can and holy shit did I kill it <laughs> I like everything just flew like I feel like uh when I started getting towards the heavier weights like I've got like some really good uh harmony going with my snatch form like I just felt like I was hitting all of them comfortably and just swinging right underneath them without jumping forward like that's because that's pretty, pretty much my worst habit was snatching but it's just allowing myself to have that little bit lean forward that I need to uh, get a proper pull into my waist rather than trying to push it forward because I don't have enough momentum. Overhead squats went way better than I thought. I guess, again, this is why percentages, uh, at least in my scenario, this is not everybody, but I feel like once you get really far along in your lifting experience, I've been training for seven years total, three years consistently, and, uh, man, it, <laughs> I guess I've been holding off, holding back on my overhead squats because I literally, on my peak weekday the other day where I had snatches, um, I went to 265 for my doubles and I thought I was like going ham. And look at me today, I went up to 245 for five. Like what the hell? <laughs> like I get that like statistically it could make sense, but like, I, I feel like I killed it, you know? Um, and then, you know, snatch pulls, while I am never gonna have the same energy for snatch pulls as I do as my main lifts, because they're essentially just an over-exaggerated deadlift, um, they are very important for me to get that first part of the lift uh, confident when it comes to the strength. And I don't wanna put too much stress on my low back ever, um, and that's what pulls do. So I make sure I don't go to like, as crazy of, of a weight uh, as the other lifts, you know, especially since I end with it. But mentally, man, 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 I'm thinking it's a 9.75 kind of day. I don't know if that's a new record, but it feels like a new record. And holy shit, it's been a while since I felt like this. Like seriously, I feel, I, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but when you have those like little eureka moments, when you feel like you finally like unlocked that one thing you were missing in your training or anything that you do for a hobby, for the passion of it in your daily life, man, I really feel like I got in touch with that shit today. Um, and even more than that, it was just, I felt like so free. Again, uh, I'm going to get more into the specifics of it, but this is like the first time in most likely I want to, oh God, I don't this is probably the first time I, in the seven years, consistent or inconsistent, that I have programmed on purpose, uh, feeling out my own weights. You know, I, I have in there the reps that I want to do. Like today was triples on Olympic lifts and sets of five on my power lifts. Um, and man, like I just, I didn't expect it to be such an eye-opening experience to how much I have left in the tank, you know, which is never a bad thing. Uh, I, I love that I've been able to not limit myself, but like give myself enough wiggle room to where I can really show off my strength after all of this experience. Um, but the main thing I kind of wanted to touch on, I guess, with all this, is first of all, I want to explain how I think this is going to work in the best favor for me, because I know most people are going to hear this and they're going to be like, oh, well. You know, it's your first day on, your ego lifting, you're just maxing out every day, that's not healthy. 
when I so I mentioned it earlier, but I am not going until failure. That is not my goal. I want to go to what I call a comfy failure, <laughs> um, or you know, some people can call it like an RPE eight or nine at the highest. If you want to get really technical, but I have no experience with RPEs, and I don't. I again, it, it, I feel like you automatically put a limiter on yourself, uh, or at least again, this is just my specific scenario, my, you know, the mindset could always change, but just in this moment, I feel like if I put any percentage or any RPE on it, it's going to limit what I want to do. So I just, I have the rep ranges written down because this is meant to be uh, more volume this week and next week. Um, and uh, again, it's not about going to the absolute, like I was, my elbows were sp- like burning off the bone and I couldn't feel my upper back muscles anymore and my core was completely shaken and shivering. No, like the whole point is I want these lifts to feel as comfortable as they were before, but just within uh, less set volume that I was doing. Um, Because before I do like five or four sets on every lift and now uh, instead of just doing a bunch of singles warmups and then a bunch of working sets for the volume, I I did triples at every single weight and then you know, I had the, I, I'm developing a better mindset about having to earn the next weight. Because while I could have gone from the, what am I going to, what was it? While I could have gone from 185 to 205 right away and just make the 25 or make the 20 pound jump, I wanted to earn that weight. You know, I wanted to really know I had that shit in me. So I decided to um, do 195 first, get confident in it. And again, that, by earning that weight, I am giving myself the set volume that I am taking out uh, of the original program, and I'm getting that same amount of like intensity, that same amount of energy, you know, anything. Um, but anyway, my I guess specifically, when I mean comfy failure, this is why it's so important to know uh, how to listen to your body, um, because it is not a matter of, oh well felt pretty fucking good so I just felt like running it and just going up the extra 5 20 pounds whatever I did that last set and I could instantly tell when I hit that third rep that on the next one if I go again I'm either going to start failing because of my technique or I'm going to start getting the shaky 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 shakes um, which means you're pushing it to the absolute fucking maximum Uh, and I didn't want that I wanted to hit a comfortable working set, a, a comfortable top set, but with that same intensity, you know? It's just because I'm putting in a fuck ton of energy doesn't mean that it wasn't uh, comfortable to my own standards. And again, everybody's different, you know? Um, but anyway, that's what I mean by that, I guess. So don't, like, go crazy thinking that I'm telling you to just go max out every day and just feel it out and say, fuck it. Because I'm, I'm definitely not saying that. Uh, but yeah, and other than that, I I do want to emphasize something that I need to remain humble about, uh, and that is first day placebo. Uh, It sucks, but uh, every time you start a new program, um, there is the chance that that first day just went super duper well because you took that time off you needed, and it's a low weight day and a higher volume day where you don't got to go as hard. And so tomorrow could go bad or the next week could go bad or the peak week could go bad I don't know but with me I don't I I mention this a lot I try to work without expectation I just want to enjoy the lifts and put in as much effort and intensity as I can along the way you know it doesn't matter if I fail and while I don't expect to fail I am still open to it you know there's a big difference that's why open-mindedness is such a key important thing in any any in any everyday life uh, thing that you're gonna do it's just important to just you know give yourself the comfortability to just go in there go as hard as you can and really just do what you have in you that day um, but you know other than that uh, I, I'm just gonna do the absolute best I can um, and enjoy it you know like today like even though I am hyped up there's sure there's some ego in there Um, and I, I did go pretty fucking hard because I got to rest yesterday. Uh, but, you know, 
you gotta you gotta take those great days i i say it a lot but when you have a dog shit kind of workout day you need to not view that day as a waste of time or a fuck up day or a day that you just fucking hate because you did poorly in your own standards you got to see that shit and be like you know what i pushed through i finished the workout with the best that i had that day even if to my standards the best i had was horse shit i pushed it and i did what i had so uh, I say this all the time. You have to push through the dog shit days to have more uh, wiggle room for those awesome, like, PR days, you know? Uh, like today. And again, it may be placebo. It may be a lot of things. But just as how I can make a million excuses as to why I, as to why I did well, anytime people uh, fail at lifting or anything in their daily lives, they also come up with a lot of uh, excuses as to why they failed in that certain scenario. So, no excuses. Just doing the everyday workout, having fun, and just running it the best I can. Because that's all I got. <laughs> like, literally. You know, you can take that shit with a grain of salt. Um, this isn't gospel or anything, but I, I truly believe people need to have more fun in the everyday life things that they are just trying to have as a hobby that because of how much success is looked at as a huge thing in our life, like when it comes to status or your, you know, your quantitative value, which I absolutely fucking hate, um, it can, those mindsets can integrate into your hobbies that are meant to be just passionate, you know, just fun. So, you know, if you've, if you've been overstressing about something that's started as a hobby that feels like it's turning into work, take it a step back. You know, like allow yourself to have that kiddish day where you're like, man, it would be so fun to do that. And the only reason you're probably not doing it is because you're scared to deviate from a certain schedule. And I mean, shit, if you need an example, look at me. I was supposed to be doing my maximum weight peak week this week. I didn't even get to do clean and jerks, you know, and I, I was really excited, but I didn't think that it was going to go on. I thought that I was susceptible to getting hurt. And I, more than that, because I, if I didn't have any other ideas, I would have committed for sure. But I had that eureka moment and that time of like, I just need to find a way to really enjoy what I'm doing today. And I took the day off. I rewrote the program in a way that I would have more fun with it. And day one, we're fucking killing it, you know? So can't promise that I'll kill it every day. But when it comes to the intensity and the mindset, I will fucking murder that shit <laughs> not to be super over exaggerative but maybe you get what I mean maybe you don't but I hope you do and I hope you could latch onto anything I said in this video but we will be back tomorrow we have we're gonna get some fucking vengeance for the back squats and clean and jerks because that's the day that I dropped the program on last time so I'm gonna go pretty ham tomorrow not when it comes to the quantitative value of my weights but when it comes to the intensity and the effort that i bring forth tomorrow we're gonna be peaking we're gonna be killing that shit so you know i'll be back enjoy your lifts and i'll see you tomorrow see you